Arigato, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> Wonderful. And that's for our Asian communitors who are visiting us. Welcome to another episode of Hash It Out with Billy Francesca. Welcome, friends. Yay. Welcome. Yay. Obviously, I'm in my ceremonial robe, which was made by the tiny little hands of wonderful Asian children. I so appreciate the work they do. All right, let's jump right into it, shall we? We should make some noise for my good friend Lilan Matsumoto and her one-of-a-kind headdress. <laughs> Always trying to steal the show. Keep trying. All right, what's our first hashing it out topic tonight? Your hooker name is your first pet's name and your street that you grew up on. What's yours? No one's really ever asked me this. My parents got me a beagle when I was a kid because one of my legs didn't grow. I was in this terrible race thing. It was a nightmare. And I had to wear this giant high heel shoe, which obviously I'm amazing. And the doctors were like, your son will never walk normal again. But anyone who's seen me work a room in heels is like, this bitch wins. Fuck you being a cripple. Okay, sorry. I'm just but saying. So my parents got me a dog and his name was Linus. And he was a beagle who ran away from me. Twice. <laughs> so it would be uh, Linus Sycamore. That's not bad. Hi, I'm Linus Sycamore. Do you have a coupon? Oh, Lilan, this is for you, dear. How are you tonight, Lilan? I'm Chia Well, that's wonderful, yes. Oh, and you've also, uh, I know you've been talking to Chad, who is uh, my co-host on my show, <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> way to shit where you eat, isn't it? All right, anyway, Lilan, this is a question for you from your Twitter followers. And it's about, yeah, are you dating Chad? Well, that's up to you. He doesn't jog anymore though, does he? You have a real type, Lilan. Just friends. I've used that line before, Lilan. All right, moving on. How are Simon and Big Eddie? Oh, we, I knew this was going to come. Listen, I don't want to say I've lied to you because you guys know I had a real hard time with squirrels. <laughs> My fans were behind me on like destroying squirrels, but I made such a wonderful pact with Simon, who is my squirrel who comes in my house, walks right in the house, looks around. I'll stay in bed having my tea. I'm like, what do you want? He looks like this and goes outside, but I give him nuts. I give him almonds. He only likes unsalted almonds, because of course. But Simon is a wonderful squirrel. Big Eddie is, of course, the squirrel that I hit years ago uh, with a tequila bottle, empty tequila bottle. I threw that tequila bottle at that squirrel on the wire and it knocked him off. And he got up like this and went. <laughs> And then walked away and said, oh shit, these squirrels are real. Okay. I don't know what his relationship with Simon, I don't know if they're like related, but Simon's totally fine with me. We're, we're getting, along, getting along great. Big Eddie, however, is not. He's still chill with me. It's nice to say that the squirrel war is officially over here at the birdhouse. So. 14 years, but now it's fine. We've buried the hatchet. And as soon as I find that, I will go after Helen Hunt. Okay, and our next one is, if I drink, I die. Oh my God, that sounds like a great way to go. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Alcoholism is fun. If I drink, I die. If I eat, I'm fine. What am I? Some witchcraft magician is here with riddles. If I drink, I die. If I eat, I'm fine. I'm gonna say it's a hammerhead shark. Why? Mm, I don't fucking know. It was the first fucking thing to pop in my motherfucking head. I do want to know what these are, though. I'm saving these. I have a pile. Oh, nope, someone stole my pile. Well, <laughs> I'll never know. Oh, I love this. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. It was lost in space. That's what it's from. The rob, the rob was like this. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. And you're a fucking robot in space. Do something! Do your fucking job, Robot Eddie! I don't know why I said Eddie. Probably because of the squirrel. Oh, Lilan, everyone's just all about Lilan right now. Am I losing my appeal to my audience? Yes! We have Lilan's fortune sticks. And it's not because she's Asian, but it's because she's Asian. <laughs> These are Lilan's fortune sticks sent to us by my dear friend Jeannie in Boston. And how it works is you open it up like this and you shake it until the long one comes out. So Lilan, when you want me to stop, you just say something, and then I'll stop. And that's, and that's gonna be the fortune for all of our viewers tonight. Shake it around, shake it around. Eat it! Oh. Okay, thank you, Lilan. And the fortune is, a relative will unjustly treat you. That's because someone tried to put you in a dumpster, isn't it? Well, I wanna thank everyone so much for tuning in tonight. <laughs> Another wonderful episode of Hash It Out with Billy Francesca. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Check out my Advice to an Idiot show on Thursdays. 
Pacific Standard Time. Is that right? Still, it so still sounds weird to me. It's also in Mountain Time, but I don't know what that means either. And why would I? No one cares about the middle of the country. Uh, it's on every Thursday at T Radio V. Thank you so much. I'm spitting. I don't know why. <laughs> Hi, you're thick. <laughs> I'm not angry about it. Hi, come on over here. Don't be nervous. Hi, come on in here. I see you have some free advice. He's not the free advice person, but I guess you are. No, I am. I'm the smart, pretty white one. She